I suspect that we might have underestimated the importance of pesticides for the decline of wild bees. We have studied the impact of neonicotinoid pesticides on bees on the Swedish field conditions. Half of uh, our oilseed rape fields were sown with seeds treated with the neonicotinoid clothianidin and the other half of the fields were untreated controls. Uh, we've studied three groups of bees, the honeybee, bumblebees and solitary bees. The most dramatic uh, result we found was that the uh, bumblebee colonies almost didn't um, grow at all at the clothianidin treated sites compared to the control sites. Neonicotinoids have in other studies been shown to affect the ability or willingness of bumblebees to collect pollen to feed their youngs and thereby affecting the reproductive success. Uh, and the other thing was that there were no uh, solitary bees that are turned to nest um, at the treated site. While at the, the control sites we had um, solitary bees that were turning to six of the eight sites. Um, most of the, um, the studies that's been done have been done on um, honeybees. So most of our knowledge in this area is also from honeybees. What we could see in our study was that the treatment did not impact the colony strength. So we had no treatment effect on the honeybees, on the things we measured. This study is important because bees are pollinators of both crops and wild plants. And the wild bees are actually more important than previously thought. So it's worrying that there are reports worldwide of declines in distribution and diversity of uh, bees. Pesticides could be one of these multiple pressures that bee populations are under.